viewers, welcome to day 48 of the last 100 days of 2015. Today we're playing Bubble Tanks 2. Bubble Tanks 2 is a tank shooter game where you collect bubbles to upgrade your tank. You get bubbles for killing enemies and lose bubbles for getting shot. Every time you fill up your bubble bar, you get to choose an upgrade. With these upgrades, you can customize your tank to work in the way you like it. Customizing the tank is done by choosing one of three upgrades. Each upgrade has its own primary and secondary weapons, as well as movement speed. You have to choose carefully though, because once you've chosen an upgrade, you can't undo it. You can drop a tank level by getting shot enough to get below zero on your bubble bar, after which you can get the upgrade back by refilling the bar to full, but you will not get to re-choose your upgrade. This to me was the big downside of the game. Because I got stuck with a tank I didn't like and I couldn't repick it. The only way to get another tank is to restart the game. The levels close to your spawn location all contain weak enemies that most of the time don't even shoot at you. The further you go from your start zone, the harder the enemies get. If you move too quickly, the enemies can overwhelm you and you will lose tank levels making it even harder to beat the enemies. The final goal of the game is to find and defeat the end boss, which I didn't get to do today because of my problem with my sucky tank. I did however beat the boss a few years back, when the game just came out and I found it to be a good challenge. All in all, the game is pretty hard if you pick the wrong upgrades, but if you pick the right ones, it has a very enjoyable difficulty level. If you haven't tried this game yet, I suggest you check it out, since although it may be an old game, this is still a good game. Just stay away from the pure light tanks. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time. GG!